Hello everyone, this is Neha Tulshan from Crescent Creation. Welcome to another video on my YouTube channel. Yes, I have a new intro for my videos and I'm loving it. For today's card, I used this doll stamp from Prima by Julie Nutting. It's an old stamp that I have with me forever now and it's one of my favorites. I take this out every now and then when I have to create a special card for a special someone. It's a cling mounted stamp and here I'm using my Misty to stamp it out on Nina Solo White 80 pound cardstock. Misty just helps me stamp the image a couple of times until I get a crisp image. Since it's a cling mounted stamp, without a stamping tool, it will be difficult to line it up to stamp it a few times at one place. So a stamping tool like Misty just comes in handy. Once done stamping, I cleaned my stamp using a wet stamp chamois and now I'm using Copic markers to color my image. I started with some E markers to color the skin. At first, I wasn't sure if I wanted to add the facial features to this image, but as I started coloring and added the depth to the face using the markers, I felt like I should add the facial features. So here I'm using my 0.1 Copic Multiliner to add the facial features for the girl's face. For my E markers, I'm using E15 as my darkest color, blending it out with E13. Then I'm using E11 as my mid tone. And lastly, coming in with my E00 as my lightest color and blending everything out. I'm coloring a human image using my Copic markers after a long time. And I really liked how it turned out. Now for the hair, I wanted to use cool gray markers, but my C9 marker is all dried up. That's my darkest marker that I have in cool grays. So I switched to warm gray markers because I wanted this girl to have black hair. So I used W9, W7 and W5 warm gray markers for her hair. For the dress part, initially I wanted to use a technique called paper piecing where I will stamp the image on the pattern paper that I want to use and cut out the part from that pattern paper and stick it onto the image. But then I uh, decided to color the whole image because I really wanted to spend some time coloring. I was really enjoying the coloring process here. So for this part, I use some RV markers. This is one of my favorite pink combination. Now for the shirt and the hairband and the shoes, I decided to use some BV markers. At first I was thinking of adding peach color, um, but uh, then I went for the classic pink and purple combo. It almost took me 45 minutes to color this whole image and it was so much fun. Now that the image was all colored, I used my white gel pen and added some details like flower details to the skirt, uh, dot details to the shirt and hairband. Details like this just steps up an image. It's like adding special effects and makes the card extra special. Now that we are done with the image, let's work on the background and finish up this card. For my background here, I have an 8 and a quarter by 3 and a quarter piece of cardstock that I cut from a Nina Solo White 80 pound cardstock. And I'm using a stencil to ink up the panel. It is from the Lawn Fawn Conversation Heart Stencil Pack. It comes in two and I'm using the heart stencil first to ink up the background. I'm inking up the background using sponge sugar distress oxide ink and my blending brush. I'm using my mini magnetic mat and ruler from VR Memory Keepers to hold my panel and stencil down. Now I'm lining up my second stencil from the stencil pack. I'm lining up the words on the stencil with the hearts I just inked on my panel and I'm inking it up using picked raspberry distress oxide ink. I'm using the same blending brush. I tend to keep one brush per color family. And here I'm cleaning up the stencil before lining it again to make sure I don't transfer any color from the stencil while lining it onto my panel. It's pretty easy to line these stencils onto your panel and you get these beautiful looking backgrounds for your cards just in seconds. Now for the sentiment on my card front, I used this small talk stickers from Tim Holtz. These stickers come in a book and few pages are in white few in black or craft color. I have the one with white and the craft color. So here I'm using the white stickers and layering them on black cardstock, leaving an outline all around. And now I'm using a scissor to trim off these sentiment strips. Now let's assemble the card. I have put foam tape at the back of the colored image and I'm peeling off the backing. And here I glue it down to my front panel. 
I'm also gluing down the sentiment strips using some foam tape. Now to embellish the scarf front, I'm adding some colorful bows from my store in white and pink color. I'm also adding some pink jewels from the Americana jewel mix and I'm also adding some clay hearts from the Valentine hearts clay bits pack from my store. I really wanted to embellish the scarf front and I really went to town with all these blinks. It is a birthday card that I am making for my favorite favorite person. So here I am stamping a happy birthday sentiment from Mama Elephant birthday wishes stamp set. I am stamping this sentiment in the inside of my card and I made this card base using raspberry cardstock from Lawn Fawn and it measures 8.5 by 3.5 inches when folded. Now using some liquid glue to glue down my front panel to my card base. Off camera I added a little bit of shine to my girl image using Jelly Roll Stardust Glitter Pen. And this is how my card looks once all done. I'm very happy how it turned out. If you liked this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed already, do consider subscribing and click on that notification bell so you know every time I upload a video. Thank you so much for stopping by. See you next time. Bye.